Hello everybody, Shift3 again with another Inscription Act 1 run. And um, yeah, let's start right away. Is there a creepy robot? Nope, no creepy robot, but we got the creepy card. Whoa. And uh, yeah, let's also go pick up our teeth real quick. One, mm -hmm. let's go look into the picture. Okay, we're gonna try to avoid the raven neck there. And uh, yeah, let's begin with the draft. So a lot of people told me there are some a bunch of opinions running around to what to do and what not to do. Uh, first of all, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose a run on purpose because most of the people, as far as I understand, want me to not lose a run on the purpose. So I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go with the Raven Porcupine Bat. I don't see us getting a Grizzly without a Black Goat. These are the four only traces I have. Mirror might be good. A one one cost kill whatever's opposite to it, but then it does nothing. That's the problem with the mirror. It uh, does literally nothing as long as the enemy also, uh, as there when there is no enemy, the mirror does nothing. Uh, but it has three life, so it can survive some two damage moves. I like the other porcupine. Also, something else that has been told to me is to pick bad cards and try to do a run like challenge runs. I will do challenge runs after we fill the wall. If the wall is filled. Uh, completely with the character with um, with wins and then I will start doing challenge runs and uh, stop risking uh, I'll, right now I, I try to get as many wins as possible in a row until the wall is filled and maybe an event happens or something uh, I think I want to go porcupine first of all porcupine is not a good choice but it's decent as a one cost this thing when a card bearing the sigil is played Rabbit is created. So this is a free sacrifice. You play it, it blocks, it dies, but it creates a rabbit in your hand, which uh, you can use as if it was a... Uh, yeah, this is like a free turn. I would say we go Porcupine... Raven... This is a good safe option. I was thinking about these. And then hopefully we find something better. Let's try that. Let's try that. Everybody has opinions on what best and what not. Some of the challenge runs uh, told to me, first of all, we go with Carver first. Some of the challenge runs suggested to me was a uh, pick always trash stuff. <laughs> uh, I guess let's go with Flyer, which is such bad pick. But moving to the right is worse. Arm sent. Arm sent Flyer. Uh, if I go Sack. I could sacrifice the porcupine onto the warren. I mean the warren onto the porcupine, making the porcupine when I play it create a rabbit in hand. And then I play the rabbit and sacrifice the porcupine and play instantly the ray. This could be like a, a money booster. Or I could do it with this actually. So that I play it, it kills something, but it still creates a... Yeah, yeah, I, I will um, transfer this over to here. Let's go over here and maybe I get a good, good card of it too. Flying squirrels! Da -da 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 they do nothing. They just exist. Attacks and dies. Alpha's coming in. Alpha's also gonna attack and die. So we're pretty good on that end. Let's go for the flyer. Alpha attacks and... Oh, it's alive. Change of plans. Let's go here. Pass one damage. Now he's gonna most likely surrender. I surrender. I'm gonna go for the damage play. Yep. Now for how this works. Gives you a rabbit. And then you play the rabbit and sacrifice it. And then you also have a warden to um, block. The warden is not sacrificable. I have been told that the dots around mean that you cannot sacrifice it. I asked like yesterday. We got a Mantis, which is really good. We got a Raven Egg, which might trigger by mistake the, the, the photo. But uh, the Raven Egg is also really good. But I'm gonna go with the Mantis. It's a good uh, fire upgrade target. It's a good sigil that you can transfer. It's overall a decent unit. Uh, we keep to our plan though. We will throw the Warren under the bus. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Mantis is not a good idea. I could, I could buff this thing with the Mantis. But uh, right now the Warden is so worse than this that uh, I want to remove it from the deck. 
You could say that this thing could attack, uh, copy something that has three attack and then attack sideways for three and three. But for that to work, I have to either sacrifice something in front of the three attack unit because the three attack unit has to come in and attack first. And then the copy to happen. So it's not just easy peasy. That's the solution. Let's go. Let's go with the Mantis behind the boulder. I think it's pretty safe there. Uh, to be honest, it was definitely a mistake not playing the Porcupine first. Okay, here we will go with Squirrel into Porcupine, which should create... I'm stupid. I made it a lot. I made this wrong. No, this thing is supposed to be played first. No, it's okay. It's not gonna be the end of the world. Uh, what is this? This is like my the flyer. We go here. We go here. Now this creates the rabbit. Yeah. For some reason, my mind was stuck that it's going to be the porcupine at the end. So this thing can definitely not attack. Let's go. Yeah, actually, the tentacle with the with the rabbit is better. Now that I think about it. Um, to be honest, if I go here, I'm gonna get such a bad random card. Yeah, I prefer to go with a card that I can choose, plus a better carver. Casey, uh, and Casey's decent. Why am I? Yeah, Casey's decent. It's a better Mantis, which I picked by choice. Okay, can I get a good one? I mean, it's it's definitely better than flying flyers or flying bugs, so... This is definitely better. This way I can at least prevent a random three flyer attacker killing us, you know. Let's continue. Squirrel. Okay, we got two coyotes coming in. I guess it's a good chance to use Casey here. It's definitely better than the Mantis, so it's a given. Let's go. I can play the Porcupine next turn to kill the right Coyote. Oh, Casey's gonna get a kill with the retaliation attack it has. It has, she has, I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, he has, he, she, it. It, I guess the card, because I'm referencing everything with it. Let's continue. The three. And we won. Draw whatever. One win and two win overkill. Very nice. Let's continue. So, uh, I'm not gonna surrender on purpose until we win. Or, or in general. Reginald. Hmm. Or the sacrifice cat. I mean, I have a bunch of one cost. So the sacrifice cat's gonna be like boom, 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 boom. Everybody's down. I'm gonna go with the sacrifice cat. And even transfer it over to the porcupine or something. The Porcupine is just a utility unit. Let's go with the Trans Sacrifice Cat. Let's maybe get a good wood carving out of this. Everything's so bad. Uh, make the flyers blocking the air? No, I think... <laughs> Let's just take this and not use it. I prefer this. I prefer just the on-demand sacrifice something in front of a flyer. Yeah, we're not gonna be losing on purpose. I will do challenge runs, as I said. After I fill the wall and see what happens. Uh, people are asking me why I'm not sacrificing Great Smokes. I'm just um, sometimes just doing that just just because um, just because I don't want to use the power that the candle gives us. No other reason. If I see that I'm about to lose, I will use the Greater Smokes. Okay, this thing creates a thing. This has zero attack. Dippity dippity dippity. Cat should be played over here. And then I can play like everything I want. Right? I mean, I can just play squirrel into cat over here. Into porcupine to the left. Into greater smoke. Now I just need to start drawing cards. Greater Smoke survives that attack always. Pass. Adder has arrived, giving us more room to play with. Uh, which we're gonna use. We'll keep the rabbit. It moves to the right. Coyote comes and kills the smoke. That's what happens every turn, every time. This is not a good fight for us, by the way. Let's continue. Uh, that, that thing... Oh, we... Okay, it was a good fight for us. Cancel whatever I said. 
This was really good for us. He's gonna ding us to death, but uh, he's gonna lose his backline. And I have my Mantis in my hand and my Smoke and also a Rabbit and Raven. So we're pretty good here. We just need some time to eat our gold nuggets. Can I play anything here? I guess I can play the Greater Smoke. Yeah, I need to play the Greater Smoke to buy myself some time. So we're gonna do just that. Casey has arrived. Casey is not able to survive. Actually, nothing can attack the Bloodhound. That's why I hate Flyers, man. And that's also why I hate the Mantis. Uh, I guess uh, I will wait for stuff to arrive in those middle areas. Until then, we just start blasting here. Adder's coming in. Adder's a really good thing for us. Uh, yeah, we pass here and hope for the Adder to kill the Gold Nugget. Thank you. Okay, Time-wise, I think I have like three or four more cards. Now, I cannot kill the Bloodhound. I can also not kill the Adder. I mean, I can play Casey here. Attacks here and here, kills the Bloodhound, yeah. And then Casey kills the Adder too. I think that's the play. Remove everything or even remotely dangerous from uh, the map. Obviously, before we do that, we're gonna play uh, the Raven over here. Now we play Casey over in the middle. And now that should kill, kill, and this thing is gonna YOLO itself. I don't know why I said kill, kill, although... Uh, yep, that's nice. We draw here, and now we go for damage. Now it's a DPS race. And at this point we won. Very nice. Uh, another thing that I have been told is if I can hook the moon, that's a no. I have tried it time and time again, but I'm gonna try it again if you guys want to see it. If, if we are not forced to use the hook into a we don't lose. Also another thing I have been told is that Amalgam is better than I think because it always gets the benefit of the totem. Right now the benefit of the totem is uh, fly blockers. Mm, I mean, might as well go for the Amalgam here being a fly blocker. It's not that good, but it's better than the pack rat. And it's also I can't I can't actually play Urayuli, not in this deck right now. I mean maybe pack rat was a better decision. I could have played some some items and uh, used, used utilized the pack rat. There's a flame there. Maybe if I get a ringworm or another here, we can go into a flame build. No, not again. We found a cockroach, and uh, we could sacrifice the cockroach onto KC or Mantis, and then it would be really easy to play those. Same goes with Porcupine, obviously. I always like a Cockroach for um, for the purpose of infinite sacrifices on a unit. Now let's take a Cockroach. It's always a good thing to sacrifice. I don't want a Pack Rat. Let's go over here. I don't have anything to actually throw into the Poison, but I can try to... YOLO power up like Casey once, and it's and uh, yeah, it's already going to be insane. I could YOLO power up twice, and it's going to be an insta kill. Oh, it's health. Well, trash. Uh, I guess we go with Casey here, just because of the fact that um, yeah, spikes with four life is better than less. Um, now, now we're gambling. Now we're gambling. Push your luck or pull away. I hate gambling. What's my deck? I can't see my deck. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I I, I did the... Um, what's it called? With the scroll wheel. With the scroll wheel, I was pressing to see the deck, and it uh, brought me out of that event, so... That's what happened there. I think I want to go for the sacrifice first, because I want to get rid of the cockroach and transfer it over to Casey. So, we're gonna go there. And then later, we can find a fire or something. Also, there's a trapper there. Maybe the trapper can fix our deck. Actually, the Trapper is going to fix our deck if I arrive at him and uh, get a good deck. A Ring more Mono. Oh no. Let's go with... Oh, we got a really trashy hand, so I guess Casey it is. Boom, boom. He comes down. Now more Ants arrived and a Mantis. We're closing into dying here. Uh, let's, uh, let's play the Raven over the Ringworm to have constant damage coming in, you know? How much damage is coming in for for him? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right now I'm doing one and then another two with a flyer. We're barely surviving right now. But the, the, the ant's gonna die next turn. So we will reduce his damage. Uh, let's break this. 
Let's go with Raven on the right. Let's go. I do three. Nice. Now he does six as calculated. We're not dying from this. Uh, I need to draw here. Okay, I can kill both ants at one turn. And uh, then I will do two. So I'm going to be at five. And he's going to do one, two, and the next ant coming in three. Actually, one, two dies. Next ant coming on, coming in three. So one and three and it's dead. We play this. Or not. Uh, this this is like an easy win. Yeah, now it attacks and dies. Whoop, bye. That's why Porcupine is a good early game uh, character. I look at this. The cockroach actually out of the team now. <laughs> that has almost never happened. I almost never play the cockroach like by hand. Mm, we're going for the overkill here. Up, up. Anti blocker flyer. Anti fly blocker. Anti fly blocker? Flyer blocker? Block flyer? I don't even know. Let's see what we can get here. I can fill my deck with trash. Somebody asked me what happens if I just buy all of his pelts. I'm not sure you can buy all of his pelts because if you see, the moment you play something, it comes down. So, I don't know. I think two pelts. Mm, maybe a gold one too. Man, this is so risky, and I can't even see the see the map. Let's play with fire. Let's play with fire. For once, I'm also gonna YOLO. Okay, I see no shop coming up. Um, I see that, though. Which, uh, I can combine two pelts and make them an uber pelt. I think that's the play. And also fire. Fire and an uber pelt is a good idea. I need to get rid of some pelts in here. And I want to transfer the cockroach over to Casey. So let's do that. Uh, that, that did not make sense. <laughs> that last thing I said, I want to transfer the cockroach. Yeah, that, that was random. Here we go with a plus one. I think I'm okay here. I think I'm okay here. I don't need to make it an insta kill. Two damage, sideways attack. Is good enough. This is going to be one fight with the whole deck being filled with pelts. After that, I will get rid of some and then we will be safe again. Okay, we draw a card. Nice, we only draw one more wolf pelt. That's rare. This evolves? Need to kill it if it evolves. Um, I can go with this here. Plus this. Here on the left. And gives me a rabbit. Uh, I'm not forced to actually use the rabbit right now. So I'm going to go wolf pelt here. This is going to buy some time. and Let's go. This is not a fly blocker, but it will kill the flyer. Another flyer coming in. Now I can play. Now I can do the amalgam play on the right. And I'm going to pass. This is going to kill here. This is going to do three damage. Other flyers gonna get blocked. Oh, oh, guess what? Um, are we even winning? Oh, this thing's sideways attacking, so it's not even gonna kill this. Oh, we got time. Pelt. Throw the pelt under the bus. Up, oh, that's dead too. This is gonna attack sideways. It won't matter. I have one attack to kill it. This doesn't even do anything. What does this do? This this gives this gives a B to the to what? I don't think these cards work for the enemies. I'm gonna keep the cockroach. Da, 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 da. Okay. Or real card. Here, play the cockroach. Oh, infinite sacrifices. The power. Yeah, I still don't know what the bee does. For the enemies, that is. Oh, it gives me the bee. Uh huh. Uh, that looks like an oversight. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Raven. Uh, okay, let's go with the overkill damage here. As we're already winning. Money, money, money. Okay. Blah. Blah, tuck. Heads off. Yeah, off we go to the left. Can I get something good? Ooh, we found another cockroach. I'm obviously not going to combine the cockroaches. Imagine combining cockroaches. I think a cockroach is a good build. Uh, I think this cockroach is a good idea to throw into the mantis. But uh, that's it pretty much. Maybe even on the Amalgam, but I think on the mats is better. 
Otherwise, I think it's 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 due for reroll here. I'm definitely not gonna do this. The the combination. Um, I mean, how many sacrifices am I going to find? How many sacrifices am I going to find? I think it's a reroll time. Am I even searching? Let's go for the cockroach. I, I don't even know what I'm searching. Maybe I should reroll. Ah, there is a sacrifice over there. Against the fire, I'll roll low. Okay, we go for the wolf belts, obviously. Imagine combining cockroaches. Okay, let's continue. There is going to be a boss fight after that. Probably got the trash cockroach. One once and two once. Uh, I can play the raven right away if I want to. But uh, what I honestly would like to do is play this thing over here. Get It blocks and then it kills it. Let's do that. And next turn I can play raven. As I said, it's gonna block. Now it's gonna attack back. Uh, yeah, we draw this and play a raven. Start doing some damage. Uh, this lane is pretty much permanently going to be these units. So they do too, and I do too. So this this triplet over here is blocking this whole lane off. Now I need to draw something real though. Amalgam, nice. Uh, we do two, and he does three. I have one more notch that I can survive. This is going to die. I'm thinking how I can play. Yo, don't tap your hand. Um, if I draw... Let's let's think about next turn. This thing dies, I go up to two bones. Three bones, three bones. If I, draw a, if I draw a squirrel, I can pretty much not use it. The squirrels are fly blockers. I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna take three right now. So we go here. Next turn I draw a squirrel. I sack the squirrel over here. Yeah, it depends on... Actually, yeah, this thing this thing is also gonna be... Next turn I'm taking four. I think I can't win right now. So right now I do two. It goes up here. I take three because this is gonna kill this and these three are gonna attack us for three. We go down here. Then uh, next turn I draw a squirrel. I have three bones. I play the squirrel. I could sacrifice these two to play the amalgam on the right. If I sacrifice them both, I can even play the cockroach. And uh, I can block this thing down. Right now we're taking four damage each turn. And if I play these two, I can do four damage each turn too. Yeah, we, we, we're gonna lock this thing down. Let's lock down the area. We go here. And we go here. Yeah, and now the area is locked down. We do four, he does four. Nothing's gonna happen until I decide to. Well, I even forgot that the Amalgam can block flyers. Oh, which is really bad. Ooh, this was really bad. I should have had the Amalgam. Ooh, we're gonna lose the Amalgam in a bit. I need to draw something that costs one. Infinite Sacrifice Cat. Mediocre. Oh, but I'm out DPSing him at least. Okay, at least I'm out DPSing him. But we're gonna lose the Amalgam now. And now Cock... Well, if it isn't trash... <laughs> Let's, uh, you know, let's end this. Let's end this fight. Let's end this fight. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I see us uh, losing up the ability to win in a bit, so. And, the, and, and just like that, the anti-blocker is actually more trash than actually leaving the flyers to go through. That's how bad anti-blocking is. That's how bad, that's how, imagine, can you realize how bad the frog is? It's a sigil that's pretty much trash. What you normally want to do is let the flyer go through and then on your turn, kill it. But if you have anti-blocker, the flyer actually kills you. <laughs> Let's go on. Let's go with snakes in case we find a the worst one we could get. Reptilians! It's reptilian, it's not snakes. Um, I guess I sacrifice the river snapper? Or I go for the flame and hope it's damage? 
You know how we play this. It's life. Well, I guess Casey or Matt has got. Let's go with Casey. At six, she's okay. He, she, whatever. The card. At six, the card is okay. Can I draw Casey right away? This is a really easy fight. If I just draw Casey right away. Squirrel, okay. Casey's here. Mm, Amalgam is here. Well, I did draw Casey as I requested, so we're gonna start blasting now. We won. Up, up, up. Takes five. Goofish. I knew that that's coming. So the play here is. Whoop. Boop, boop. Boop. Done. Here. Overkill damage. Why not? Did, 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 did. Done. The boss fights are easier than the normal fights because you know what's happening and it's always scripted and it's always the same. Uh, I mean, you can definitely instantly die. You you can lose in boss fights because you're not prepared for the mechanics. You always pick yeah, Mantis God. Pick Mantis God. Yeah. I knew. I knew. I knew. I know what he says. By the way, you don't always pick Mantis God. We go for the shop right now. Especially with the transference sigil. Are you insane? There is a fire there. We go to the shop right now. This okay. Now, now we're winning. Now, now, now I'm winning, son. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we got this sigil. Faculty. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a copy of it's created in your hand. This is an insane sigil to transfer. This is like one of the most powerful sigils to transfer, especially if you have something that costs zero. Uh, I'm I'm gonna take this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take this. Okay. Ooh, everybody is bloody. Because I have one bloody, everything's bloody. Ah, oh, look at this. It's another trashy cockroach. A rattler that has infant sacrifices. A ringworm that has uh, leaves a tail behind. A flying 4-6. This is a flying 4-6. This is a copy something and most likely win. If it copies something that has 3 attack. It has 6 life too. It has 6 life. I like this, first of all. Because it's 4 damage. Because this, this, the number here is 4 minus how, how away you have it from the ding. So you place it at the very left and it's 4 damage. So I'm gonna pick this thing up. Yeah, this is a mole that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a mole that doesn't do mole. A mole that's not a mole. Um, I could go for the elk, 4-8, that moves around and is also blocking flyers. This looks decent, but I don't have a lot of bone creation. I think I want to go with this. If this thing copies something that has 2 or 3 attack, it's really good. Yeah, the, the rest is so bad. I mean, the elk is decent. Uh, don't misunderstand. The elk is decent, I have to say. But still, let's go for this. Let's see how this goes. And the golden pelt goes to the gek. Ooh, the golden gold. Yeah, the golden... Well, the, the, the gek, the gek, the gek, the gek, the gek, the gek. For sure. For sure. And here we go with sacrifice. And here we sacrifice this thing to this thing. Oh, now we got infinite gex. As easy as that. And now I just need to draw the gek. People were like, no, we remember Sifters calling the gek geek. <laughs> and uh, here it is, the infinite combo. Well, if it isn't, just dandy. Let's see. A 3-7 moose buck. A 0-4. Okay. Um, obviously, I don't need to have the gex on the ground. I can have whatever I want. Let's, because I have an infinite gex. Um, yeah, I mean, we pass here right now. Okay, it moved to the right. That's bad for us. Is it? Do we care? We have infinite. We have infinite Gex. You can do whatever you want, man. It matters not. Now is a good chance to play the clone. Here you go. Boop. 3-6. Clone's the opposite. 
I won't play the cat pass. Yep, that's toast. That's toast. Very nice. We got time. We got time. Oh no, my thing has zero attack now. Oh, maybe the first time this thing actually does something. Mantis, the simple one, not the god. Well, I uh, can't actually do anything. I mean, I can... 3-1. Very nice. Real card. Well, if it isn't infinite gex... Let's go with... Uh, what should I go with? It doesn't matter. Let's pass. Boop, boop, boop. Everything dies. I like how the moose bucks helping out with the damage. Move, move, move. Well, we... I would say we go with Gek and... Uh, Gek and... Uh, Gek. And we pass. Ju just for the fun of it. I, I could have gotten more money, but I don't really care right now. I can go for this. Or I can power up my Gex even more. Let's go with powering up my Gex even more. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get that one pelt from the trapper. And I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna spend my money for anything. I don't need to improve my deck. I do not need to improve my deck. Well, let's go to the flame damage, please. I hate you. I will still improve the Gek, just because of the fact that um, there is a chance that maybe the enemy has like side attacks and uh, it, get, it somehow gets through the Gek, you know. And another fire, so we go for the other fire, obviously. Because I need the Gek to have like some damage. With one damage, it's gonna take a year until we win. Mantis God is here. And here the Tulki Vulture has arrived. Um, well, we go with Squirrel into the cat in the corner. I would say cat in the middle, to be honest. Although I need something to kill the Vulture, so let's have cat in the corner. Let's play Mantis God below this, because this cannot attack it. Although this is literally against what I just said. I think I just lost myself the game. Or what I, because of what I did. Rabbit felt. Okay, this thing's gonna block my Mantis God attack over to the right. And then the Mantis God attack the possum. That was a mistake. Yeah, if I if I had the Mantis God here, it would be do 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 and pretty much done. And the next turn do 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 and we would be dead though. I think we're dead. I don't see us coming out of this. Right now I can't do damage, I'm taking three. I think I want to steal the um, the, the vulture away. Yeah, if I don't steal yeah, let's steal the vulture away. First time I'm using this. There's no space to pull that one. No mistakes were made. Well, let's get our first loss here. Big mistakes, big mistakes. Oh, we're toast. It's okay, we lose a flame. It's okay, we can handle this. Pity. Uh, I guess. Skink. I remember the skink. Skink's decent. We got a combine there. And a throwaway. Damage has arrived, thank you. I could go for the Mantis God on the damage, but I'm gonna go for the Gek. Because this is the Gek run. Two damage is obviously more than enough. Let's continue. Boop, boop, boop. Didn't draw it. Okay, another turkey, another one of those. Okay, this time let's calculate this correctly. If I play the turkey here, um, the mantis there, it will attack one and two and the turkey vulture alongside it. And then I will try to buy myself some time. Yeah, we we, we, we definitely play the mantis there in the middle. There is uh, nothing else we could really do. Let's pass. Boop, boop. Let's hope the enemy doesn't bring good units in. Sparrow's coming in. Okay, I was thinking about playing the mantis uh, this over here to block for one turn, you know. Just block. More flyers coming in. This is not going to be blocked. So we're going to be taking four right now. Oh, we got some real problems here. First of all, this is forced. Uh, I'm going to use the hook. I'm going to use the hook. If I play this and sacrifice it there, it's going to do zero damage. Zero damage. This comes down. This comes down. I take one in the air. Next turn. 
First of all, if I play the squirrel here, this does zero. And next turn I play it, draw another squirrel, play it here. I do zero damage, zero damage, and uh, I take another three. Because these two are gonna do three. So I'm already dead if I don't hook. Let's hook. I like how it got a cost at the end. <laughs> Just got a cost randomly. Uh, pass. Boop, boop, boop. Two, three. Okay, now I control the game, of course. Now we go here and here. We make this pretty much a permanent. Look, look. And it's over. Nice and easy. Um, do I have doubles? I guess I have a double cockroach, but I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be forced to combine the double cockroach. No, we're gonna go with throw something away. Go with some... Throw something away and I can throw away the cockroach. One of the two cockroach. Or the river snapper, which is a lot worse. Moosebuck. Another raven. A turkey vulture. It's eight... No, let's, let's, let's maybe try to find something better. The magpie, yeah. We go for the magpie. Magpie is definitely better. Let's go for a sacrifice here. Let's throw one cockroach out. I don't need two cockroaches. And I don't think I even have time to sacrifice another one, so... Yeah, I mean, I don't have time to sacrifice another one. <laughs> We're closing into the game. Finish. Why did I buy the pelt? Why did I buy the pelt? Oh no, I think it's the forced pelt. Yeah, I have the forced pelt. Let's go. Ooh. Can I have my... I found the magpie. Very nice. Um, okay, we go for the win. Right away. Win right away. Boom, boom. Play the magpie here. Why not? We draw the... Gek of... <laughs> Gek of Doom, I was about to say. Everything is of doom here. In this channel. We're a very doomy channel. I don't know what to call everything every time. Boop, boop. Boop. Magbase toast. Oh, no. We got a wolf pelt. Da, da, da. Let's play this encounter like it is supposed to be played. Pass. Da. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Da. Okay. Da, 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 da. Do damage. Da, da, da. Nice. Draw a real card. Go with uh, Gek into uh, Gek. Nice. Pass. Everything's dying. Okay. Let's go phase two with a thousand cards in hand. My turn. First. Let's trade. Okay. Um, you know what? For the sake of the thumbnail, I'm just gonna buy the background. I don't even want the foreground. Can I skip the foreground? Damn it! I wanted the thumbnail! Let's throw this. What? Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Let's continue then. What is this? Sideways Grizzly. Well, this is a free win at this point. I mean, should I overkill everything? First of all, let's just see the stage. Okay. Now let's start overkilling everything. This is insane, man. That gag is insane. I have been told that the sigil can appear for the... That sigil can appear for the... What's it called? Oh, I could have played the turkey. No. Well, this way it is, whatever. Uh, this sigil, this sigil here, the mouse, can appear... So, we almost didn't kill him. I'm obviously joking. Uh, this sigil can appear on the squirrels. So you can uh, pretty much, with one squirrel, play four squirrels right away and start sacrificing stuff. It's the most powerful sigil in the game, as a free cost is concerned. Because it's better than the... Oh, we found the Roboros. Uh, let's go with Mantis God here. I mean, we could pick a Roboros up just for the memes and not play him. Yeah, I'm gonna pick a Roboros up and I'm just gonna have him in the deck. 
Just you know what? Forget it. Let's go with Mantis God. In case in case we somehow randomly die, uh, Mantis God is going to save us and uh, create an uber powerful card. I've said that I'm not gonna pick up Uroboros when I find them, so we will continue not picking them up. Uh, I could go for a sacrifice. I mean, I have a rabbit pelt that I can throw into, uh, get a card out of, but I think I've, if I could just go for a sacrifice, I can transfer this cockroach into something more useful, you know. That was the plan from the get-go. I still hate the cockroach. Let's go here. Let's go with the upgraded, uh, yeah, the Casey, why not? Give this to Casey. Could have given it to the Mantis God, but it uh, doesn't matter. I mean, Casey has six life, but doesn't matter, that's not the Mantis God. I don't think so. Also, if I draw Casey in the very first round, maybe he dings it and kills us or something. So, I don't even know what the, th the third attack he does is. First attack is, uh, and in the second round, he dings all your cards and makes them into gold. Then the fourth round, um, he do he does the go fish and takes a card away. And on the fourth, the sixth round, I don't know what it does. Uh, do I even have rares? I guess I have the Gek. I, I definitely have only one pelt, so rares is definitely easier to get. Yeah, he have went the other man's got two. I will go with the two cards here. Bone start, two cards. No, we go with the two cards. And we go for the ring, into draw whatever you want, into just play Gex and win. Oh, there is no draw whatever you want. This is the first. Um, Start with a bunch of figs. Start with a bunch of grand fears on all of your spaces. I've been told that this is good, but this, uh, this looks like a sacrifice, like a YOLO to me. Because first you cannot play anything. Then he does the gold thing and boom, 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 hits all your, uh, hits all your trees. And then I don't know what happens. To be honest, I would like... Can I see my deck? Once again, I cannot see my deck. Eight bones is decent. Start with a black goat is decent. Let's go with eight bones. Actually, I just sacrificed my cockroach. So I would say let's go with this. Let's try the, let's try the trees. Let's try the trees. If we lose because of the trees, then so be it. I'm pretty sure the trees is a suicide, but I'm gonna yell it. We're gonna yell it and we're gonna see. We're gonna see and we're gonna learn. Grand Fierce. Leshy, I love you, man. Let's go. You're the best DM by far. Music up. Actually, not yet. Music comes alongside the moon dropping. No, the music just dropped. Let's go. Boom. Uh, let's begin. Oh, they are zero threes. Extremely bad. Extremely bad. Uh, I'm blocked in. No, I know that these were gonna bite us in the. This is the worst thing you can choose to get. Let's pass. He's gonna ding, which is even worse. I could have won first turn, by the way. Still can't do anything. At least we can do the what the encounter does. You know, learning mechanics. Now he's gonna steal some gold of me. Let's draw some of those too. Okay, let's uh, start with the Gex. I can fight this thing with only Gex. He's about to go fish. Yeah, okay, go fish away. Oh no. Um, we go with a Gek. I'm not gonna give him a Gek. I'm gonna give him one of those good old squirrels. We kill the Mantis God with the Gek. Now, I still don't know what the next phase is. I'm also a bit afraid I'm gonna overdraw the universe here. But uh, I wanted to fight this with only Gex. Man, I'm disappointed. Okay. Oh, what is this? Now, now we will learn what this is. Oh, Nura Yuli's coming in. Insane. I just got hit by the thing I told you guys about. I, I, I'm not sure what's about to happen here. Uh, first of all, let's play the... Um, uh, let's play Casey to start doing a bit more damage and not only the Gex. I'll continue playing Gex though. 
Okay, trade for what you can, but notice the rest will stay in the fight. Uh, that's it? You mean Nura Yuli? I have more, okay. Uh, psh. Psh. This is easy. Give me that amalgam. Gold nugget. Oh, man, the tree? The tree is definitely you lose. The tree is a you lose type of deal. We don't play the tree again ever. I'm never gonna pick the tree again. I should have picked the... The what they were called. Let's end this, please. Next turn I'm winning. Oh, if he hits us with toast. Never, never tree again. Never, never tree again. Never again. Tree not even once. Worst, worst start ever. We got two stumps. Oh, he's gonna ding us and goldify everything. Oh, we're, we're about to lose. We're about to lose. That's how we lose. We don't start with the things we want. Okay, let's let's go with... I cannot even play Ryuli. I don't have enough sacrifices. Uh, can I... Th this comes back to hand. So, if I play something that does a bunch of damage in that lane... Mantis God is not enough. Do I have something that does... I only have Rayuli. I guess this does 3 damage. I can do 5 damage right now. I got this. I got this. We go with Amalgam. Uh, this uh, revives. Yeah, we go with Amalgam here. Now we go with Casey here. We play another one of those infinite... Come on. Gex. And we play the Mantis God that also sideways attacks here. Thank you. Okay, we won. Uh, easy. Okay, at this point, this is a win. Photo shoot, photo shoot, photo shoot, photo shoot. Let's draw a card. Let's draw another card. So, I... I will experiment here. I want to experiment. Pass. Attack, 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 attack. Nice. I have been told that the moon... Do you understand? Only one. I have been told that the moon... Only one, he says, but well, I'm drawing two. I've been told that the moon actually uh, does more damage for every card that you want to draw but cannot draw. So I want him to, I want this to happen. It should happen from next turn onwards. Let's see what this looks like. I'm sorry. I will attempt to hasten your demise. The moon will be your mercy. Bop to damage moon. Aha! That's it pretty much. Well, I just want... Dit, 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 dit. Your turn. Dit, 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 dit. Well, I don't care. Whoop, three attack moon. Very nice. Gek. 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 It's a 3-7 moon. Mm -hmm. Decent stats, my dude. Decent stats. Boop, 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 boop. Easy win. Another time. The And we just got another combo going, you know? We just got the Gek into this thing combo going. What's happening? Oh, I have to ding? Yeah, okay. As you wish, my lord. If you want me to end this, we're gonna end this. And the light's out. And uh, we won again. And I think this is my eighth win. Let's see what happens at your eighth win. Maybe we fill the board now. If I would randomly say a number, I would assume that a 10 win something happens. But uh, the wall is... The door is uh, filling, so maybe at 8 something happens. I, I think I read somewhere that at 8 something happens. Or at 8 the wall fills. We will see. Yeah, because I think down here is the the last spot. Uh, let, me, let me look uh, how it's written and I'm gonna come back. Okay, I don't know if it actually makes sense as a word, but I'm gonna call this run the Gek Armada. I think Armada is only for warships, but uh, I, I obviously don't wanna. I don't wanna write the army down. And uh, I think Armada is uh, is representative enough to understand what uh, this run was. Uh, but we need a Zeb in front of it. Okay, this is a lot better. The Gek Armada. I'm not sure if uh, Armada does make sense here because it's not warships once again, but that's uh, that, I'm, I, I'm not good at naming things, you know, and it's the first thing that popped into my mind. So we will continue here. Oh, we don't get the we don't get the story. 
Oh, welcome. Oh, I got another wolf pelt. Man, I'm really lucky with these, although it's one out of three. But I'm really lucky with the wolf pelts. Okay, that's my deck. Uh, let's go out of here. Um, surprise robot on my right. Oop, not. Something else that I don't know about. Maybe some secrets. The wall's filling up. The wall is filling up. Bear rush. The Gek Armada is down here. So I think I have gotten... No, I, I had this picture twice and this picture also twice. I have one robot. Uh, three times this. One cowboy. One um, jock, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This uh, this this is definitely filling. Oh, I also yeah, it's uh, it's the same here. Three of those, two of those. No skeleton dude yet. I guess two skeleton dudes. Oh, the jock is the skeleton. Aha, this is a skeleton dude, I think. But what's the robot? Uh, I'm not seeing what's the robot is. I guess no, that's the cowboy. I guess this is the robot. Either way, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Uh, this is another thing that I can easily avoid. If uh, you think that I'm never using the Kingfisher. <laughs> if you take into consideration. Do you want to tell me something you are? It's done. The master is free. And the master are free. It must be close. Arg, arg, arg. Phone the pain. Fisherman. Blah, blah, blah. Arg, arg, arg. Oh, he didn't say arg, arg, arg. Quite respectable. What's happening? Arg, arg, arg. Okay, let's go. Let's go. That's it. That's it pretty much. Not picking up the f film. I hope the next time we're going to win something weird's going to happen. If next time. Okay. If next time I win, let us let me do some uh, announcements here. If next time I win, uh, nothing really happens. For example, uh, just one gets replayed and, uh, replaced and something else comes in its place. If it's really, like, unimportant. Uh, f first of all, if next time I win, the sticker gets sticked somewhere else. For example, here in this corner or some somewhere else. Like, the wall continues to getting filled. I will continue going for wins. But if the next time I win, something not quote-unquote progressive happens like uh something gets removed and replaced if this gets removed or this gets removed or if anything gets removed or replaced or if uh, the new win does not get stick to the wall so if anything happens that indicates that uh, there is no more into winning so often there is nothing else happening when you win so often then i will um then then uh, at the then on the next run after that, so not tomorrow, the next day after that, uh, I will uh, start doing challenge runs, start trying to lose on purpose. I mean, I'm not going to lose on purpose ever, forget that. I'm going to start doing challenge runs, maybe pick the worst picks uh, or uh, a bunch of ideas. I don't know what else of challenge runs I can do. Uh, I, I'm reading through the comments slowly, so there are uh, ideas coming up slowly. Also, people have told me to do more mods, different mods. That's also something I could do after we stack the wins, because some mods are most likely going to be overpowered. Some might be weak, but some might be overpowered. Most of the time, mods are overpowered, so... I mean, let's first get the wins freely, and then we will start using mods. As I said, uh, the reason I haven't already started using mods is just because of the fact that uh, they were not polished enough yet. And uh, I think the the aesthetic of the game and the polishness and the cleanliness is really important. So I, I want to maintain the polish. But um, if after like three or four days, because this thing is not going to be in the future. This is going to be like in the next five days, uh, circa, circa in the next five days. So if uh, if they haven't patched the um, animations or car at least card art, you know, if there is no card art in, uh, let's say, three to five days, maybe a week, if the mods don't have card arts, then uh, I will just... Um I will just use them even if they're not polished enough. Uh, although, to be honest, I would like to hear your opinion on this. Are you okay with mods that might be overpowered? When I'm talking about mods, I'm talking about cards, okay? So, are you okay with modded cards that might be overpowered but and also might not have card art? Uh, they might just be blank, you know, blank cards. Like, uh, before you create these, there is nothing in here. Uh, when you write the name, there's nothing in here, so... If the modded cards are like this, like like nothing in them and just the name at the top and the abilities and the stats, uh, are, would you like to see that? Or would you like to have a more polished uh, product, I guess, more polished experience, but um, that might be in the future. I don't know when the mods are going to update those. Uh, I, I definitely want to play with mods, by the way. But uh, once again, I mean, I definitely prefer playing with mods than uh, trying to lose on purpose and create death cards and whatever because I can blast through this game easily. I don't need to create the death card that's going to help me out. 
So yeah, I would like to hear your opinion on that. That is my request for you guys. And um, yeah, if you don't want to do this, maybe for counterbalancing and helping out the channel regardless, you could drop a like. So you can trade up. Do you want to give me your opinion or do you want to drop a like? Or or, or do you want to just close the video because you got bored of hearing the same things again and again? Either way, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching, everybody. And see you guys around.